This video will demonstrate a one of sort of action that you'll have to perform before you can uh, set your system up to work with the Gerber or Acumark files. So at the moment, you can see on the desktop, I've got um, my file navigation system, the Windows Explorer open. And what I'm going to do is go into my uh, personal drive. So your RMIT student number drive. Click on that and we're going to create a new folder. So new folder and we're going to call it root. So here we go. Here's my new folder. You can see it right down the bottom here. And it's going to be all lowercase letters, and it's U S C R R O O T. So there's user root U S E double R double O T. All lowercase letters must be lowercase, and it must be on its own out in the open, so to speak, just inside your H drive. So not inside any other folder. You can see here, got a whole lot of uh, whoop, a whole lot of folds that are um, made, and I need user room. So all of my folders. This here. So I've already got one in mine. So you can see here your root. But what I do now is go into user root. And create another folder called storage. So again, all lowercase s t o r a g e. Now we need to get some files put into this storage folder. So once you've created the storage folder, we're going to navigate over to our C drive and see. The C drive windows, and when you open up windows, you'll notice that there's a user root in there. Okay, so this is the Windows user root, and I'm going to open that and go into storage, and I'm going to copy the file called Silhouette 2000 V9. It's L. 2000-V9. So right click, copy, then go back to that user that you made on your H drive. So I'll close the Windows one down, go back in my H drive, look for the user root there, then list it alphabetically. So user root here, up the storage file, and when you've opened that up, you need to paste that silhouette 2000. So right click and paste. Now you will see all of the files that I've got there. It will actually be an empty file, and when you click But is sets up your H drive so that the system or Acumark system can recognize your H drive as a storage area. So we've got that silhouette 2000 in there now, and we can close out of all of this. And now we're going to open up Acumark Explorer. So again, I've got a short here. To open it up, you can go to um, your start menu, look for Acumark, open up Acumark Explorer from here. So I'm going to open up Acumark Explorer. 
when it opens up, I'm going to have a look over here. Now you probably won't see your H drive still, even though we've just done a process to make it visible, it won't show up until we go up here to the top menu options and choose view and choose refresh all. This moving bar going across whole system far. So now everything's gone well, you should be able to see your C drive and your H drive. I've got an extra one there, an F drive, because I have a USB plugged in and I'm saving files to that. But for you, H drive is there, it will be saving all the files that work on. If you don't save them in H drive, there's a good chance that you won't be able to access them at a future date. And that's because the C drive is the drive associated with a particular computer. So each computer is got a C drive. When we're along on, RMIT has got the computer labs available to us. And each computer will have its own C drive. Now, if you save it to C drive on the computer that you're on, you won't know which computer it is number one. It will be one of maybe 20 that's in the room. And because you won't know, when you go to log on a second time in the future, you may not get that same computer and therefore your files may not be available to you. Now, I'm pretty sure the other thing that happens to you is you do save stuff to your C drive on a computer you were on campus. When you close that computer down, I believe that it just uh, gets rid of all the files that you've left on the C drive. So you should always be saving work to your H drive. I believe that's going to change sometime in the future too. But in the meantime, we'll be using H drive to save our files.